Hello, Crow here. I would just like to demonstrate some FreeShop 2.0 features. And the first thing you'll notice is the background music. Alright, sorry about that. So, as you can imagine, that it, I, it will not ship with that music as it is probably copyrighted. However, it has the ability to load um, audio files with a few restrictions from the SD card. So now, the first thing you'll notice when installing or updating FreeShop is this little message here telling you there's no title keys found, even if you had title keys before in a directory because the directory migrated to 3DS, 3DS Data FreeShop, and it wants keys in the keys subdirectory because it now supports multiple key dumps and it will advise you to check the settings to set up a key download which I will go ahead and do before it, in uh, explaining anything else now the update settings permit you to disable the auto update so if you do not want it to automatically fetch free shop updates in the beginning you can disable that and then just sporadically press update and it will um, update manually now this is what we're going to want. You can um, enable that, and it will fetch at the beginning um, title keys, a title key dump from URL. You just have to input the URL, which is now empty. So there's two different input methods. You can use the software keyboard. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. Just manually input a URL. Like I was putting Google to demonstrate the expected behavior. So it'll do, it'll do URL validation as well as downloading the content, checking it for a valid title key dump format. Obviously the homepage of Google is not valid, so I'll go ahead and cancel out of that. And I will use a QR code for simplicity. I have one loaded here. Right here. You can see there's a QR scanner, which is uh, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and scan right here. I think it request timed out. Can retry. You can see there's kind of a glitching thing going on, but that um, should be fixed eventually. <laughs> um, so you can see here we have our URL to download. I'm going to go ahead and just restart it so I can quickly download those title keys so then I can go and uh, show some of the other features it has with games. So you can see it's downloading the title key and then it'll load them like normal. Now if you have a lot of title keys, um, which a lot of you probably do, it could take a little while to load now, now that it's um, processing more things. Uh, I, it takes about 18 seconds for me. I could probably with some optimization cut that down in half, but either way you're looking around 8-9 uh, seconds on first load. So. Alright, so this is what you are accustomed to seeing, and then there are two new icons here at the bottom. This bag icon is for installed titles already existing, and obviously this cog is for settings. I'm going to go ahead and go to the installed titles. Now, these installed titles, um, the, these aren't all installed titles. It does not have system titles and other things that are irrelevant. It only has titles for which you have the relevant title keys um, accessible by FreeShop. Right? So, obviously, as I showed, it has a scroll even has kinetic scroll so just like uh, most mobile operating systems you can quickly um, scroll and obviously click to expand what you want to say you want to delete that game or something right um, and you'll notice these two icons here at the right the green alert icon means there is a pending update that can be installed so then you just click download download and then it will queue that up for Shantae and the Pirate's Curse which I don't care about updating right now so I'll cancel that and this yellow one as you could have guessed means uh, there's pending DLC which can is available for install so essentially it'll check your title key dumps if it finds the relevant title keys for updates or DLC it'll alert you to those existing ones 
So that's pretty much everything with installed list. Now obviously if I want to go in here and delete something, you it's pretty self-explanatory. So now let's go to the settings. Now, there's four different tabs here, filter, sorting options, update options, which we've already gone through, and other, which currently is blank, but we'll, I will add some things here like um, disabling the screen turn off, sleep mode, um, and stuff like that. Anyways, go to our filter. There's four different categories of filters. Region, which is self-explanatory. You click Japanese. It just shows you all Japanese games. Even if you were to go to search, it'll only search all Japanese games. Now here's genre. Um, likewise, self-explanatory. If you just wanted to see all... Um, sorry. Sorry, I'm left-handed. <laughs> all first-person shooter games. There, there's only, there's only six in existence. So, you just click there, open it up. And of course, there's Ironfall. And, uh, yeah. You can see here, this, I, I haven't changed the game info page very much. This I will have to change uh, in the future. Um, I'll have to add a lot more information into it to make it much more like eShop, where it'll have all the genre information, and um, it, it, you'll be able to scroll it with the, um, with the stylus and everything. I don't know if I'll have it scroll to the top screen like eShop does, but it's a possibility too. As you can see here, I've also enabled demo downloading, so you can click to download demo, which I don't care about, but yeah, you get the point. And yeah, and, and everything else works as uh, expect. <laughs> I expect. I've never seen this game before, but apparently it looks like Minecraft with guns, so uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll queue that one up. Seems interesting. Um, <laughs> Alright, so now back to the settings. And so I'll disable that. Now you can also do a language one, which is interesting as well. Let's say um, th this console right here is in Portuguese, the, the system language is in Portuguese. So let's say I wanted only Portuguese games, or only games to, that support the Portuguese language. And um, I'll go and download one of these. Cue that up. I'll push that to the front. And, and as you can imagine with the select and select none, that makes it so you can select all of them except, you know, Russian. Let's say I really hate the Russian language, right? But I want all the rest. So I do not want any game that supports Russian. I do not want any red commie nonsense in any of my games, right? So you can do that. Or you can select none and only select one like we did before. Anyways. So here's also an option for platform, which is very useful if you want to, for instance, select all Game Boy games that are, you know, RPGs or something. Where's RPG? Um, RPG. Alright. So there we have all of our Game Boy RPGs. Um, obviously Pokemon. <laughs> I think that's most of the RPGs. And, um, yeah. So we'll go and select none. And lastly, oh wait, never mind. We went through all of them. <laughs> all right, so that's nice if you want to search just uh, virtual console games, or if you just want just 3DS games, right? Some people don't like all those virtual console games, right? And it's also nice you can disable um, some of those videos. I think <laughs> downloadable video. I I usually like to select all and then get rid of all those videos because I hate those. Anyways, now the, to the sorting options. You can sort currently by four different things. There will be a fifth one, but for right now, there is. you can sort by name, size of the game. So for instance, if I want the smallest possible, there are these games, which somehow are one kilobyte. I don't think those are legit games, but anyways. Um, or you can do the biggest games, which, um, which are those, over three gigs. Or you can sort by... Uh, descending vote score to get the highest voted game, or it's probably better if you do vote count because then uh, the I mean that inherently means that it, it's the game with the most traction has most people voting for it. 
So those are the popular games you want to see. The fifth one that will eventually be added is the release date, so you can get the newer ones sorted first by the release date on the eShop. Anyways, uh, that one won't be done until I can fix some things with it. We've gone through all of these, gone through all of those, and I believe that's essentially it. Oh, one more other useful feature is if you, for instance, see I want to search Super Smash Bros. Before you had a lot of people accidentally um, accidentally installing, reinstalling games, and it deleted their old install, including the saved games, um, by accident, just by clicking X over a game, you know. That is disabled. For instance, we already saw that I have Super Smash installed, right? I just don't have the DLC. So if I went over to this and then pressed X, it'll alert me that it's already installed. Right? So I can keep trying. In fact, I can keep, I can keep pressing it and spamming it probably until the application crashes or something, right? <laughs> no, I mean, ideally, I guess it shouldn't crash, but yeah, it won't let me install it. And if we go to, let me go to the list. Now, if we go to one of these games, uh, one of the other regions, which I don't have installed, when you click X, it will automatically queue not only Super Smash Brothers, but the related updates and DLC as well. Um, so that's very convenient since likely you want all of those uh, but I don't want the European region but anyways oh another thing you can keep adding a bunch of games and and before the queue went off the screen and a lot of people are like oh, I can't see the games and it made it hard but I added a scroll bar just like everything else, so it makes it a lot more convenient to um, to address those issues. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and exit it out and try this cut the rope game. As it said before, it should be support Portuguese, so let's just check if that's the case. And as you can see, the game is in Portuguese, so just like it said, um, it supported the Portuguese language. So now this uh, Free Shop 2.0 will be out probably in a few days. Um, I'm going to send it to some testers, and um, it's, it's almost done. And uh, so take care.